Hey gang, Zippo. Uh, this is a knife that won the uh, knife shows or blade shows uh, 2005 knife of the year. Um, it's a Kershaw ET, stands for external toggle. There's a few reviews on it out here already. Um, I won't do a real lengthy review on it. I will say that price point was a major reason why it took me so long to get a hold of one for myself. Um, I'm not one that likes to pay full price for a knife. Uh, full retail so and I'm happy to say I was able to get a hold of this uh, Burgundy Kershaw here for uh, Svelte $59 shipped to my door uh, which to me was a heck of a heck of a good price considering that most of the other ones that I was able to come across were um, at the hundred dollar point or a little above um, the Kershaw ET it's a 1900 this is a uh, uh, 1900 RDSO, which is a red snap-on version. Um, it's my belief that the reason uh, I got this one so cheap is that it was a blem. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the knife, nothing wrong with the finish, nothing wrong with anything other than it's the wrong color red and snap-on rejected the color. And that was how I was able to get the knife uh, inexpensively. Um, really neat knife. You guys see down in here, <clears throat> there's a spring, and that spring pulls uh, the lock up. And then it also keeps it in place. That's what keeps the knife locked in place. And that's what keeps it open. And you can see there's a number of get this whoop get it in the camera there's a number of different ways to uh, operate the knife and anyone that has seen uh, um, the uh, ET's videos on YouTube uh, has seen uh, the number of different ways that they can be open it's got a carabiner clip here um, it's a Sandvik steel I believe. Let's see here. ET. Yep. Uh, 13C26. It's a USA made knife. Um, really, really neat. I, I just love the way that it works. It has a torsion bar lock on a cam. Uh, there's your cam right there. Roll it forward to lock. Roll it back to unlock. And what it does, if you look down in here, you see a little silver bar. Watch it come up. It comes up and it locks into. I'll show you here. You roll it back, locks into this groove here at the base of the blade edge. So and it says right there, that's your ET. And then on the other side, uh, it's a design by GNG Hawk. Um, and this particular one was made April of 07, so two years after the knife was introduced. Uh, has a patent pending. I uh, would imagine that by now the patent's been granted. Um, although I have seen some Chinese knockoffs of these, um, but neat and nifty knife. And again, you know, it's a snap on. Do, 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 do. Super, super sharp. I did clip myself on the knife. What I actually did was I didn't have it locked and uh, I carried it for a few days. And when I pulled it out of my pocket, um, it caught. And when it caught it open, and I didn't realize that it opened when I pulled it out of my pocket, and I went to grab it with my right hand, and actually, it's healed up fairly well now. But I just sliced a nice good flap off uh, my finger there. Looked down, thought, oh, oh, yep, oh, it's sharp. Um, anything else about the knife that you guys want to know? All you gotta do is go on Kershaw's website. Uh, the box is huge. The reason is there's a CD in there. Or a DVD rather, and the DVD uh, actually. Let me get a pull out here. Maybe. There we go. There. Yeah. It's a training video, which uh, is kind of cool. Shows you all the different ways that you can open it, and I've discovered a couple of different ways uh, beyond what the CD shows that. Uh, you can uh, use to open it with because it's got a full instruction manual as well. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's Kershaw ET. Uh, Zippo. Later. I'm out.